Hi, my name is Chloe Logan, and this is my presentation over differentiated, differentiated instruction. So differentiated instruction is a teaching approach where teachers adjust their curriculum to maximize the learning of all students. Um, I definitely think this is a very useful um, method of teaching because it's true that not every student learns the same and they need special help on different things or they need taught in different ways. So I definitely support the differentiated instruction. Um, and the purpose of this is to address the needs of all students. So students that are um, that can use differenti differentiated instruction in their schools would be average learners, struggling, gifted or talented students, and students with learning disabilities. Um, there are many ways in the classroom that teachers differentiate instruction and a few of them would be using different instructional approaches by the way they give instruction to each student, um, altering assignments to meet the needs of students. I think this is very important because um, later on we'll talk about how not every student will receive the same assignment and um, the students will need to understand that that's just a part of this teaching method. Um, another one would be to provide a priority of options for students to demonstrate their knowledge. So this could be what um, when they're presenting or an exam, it could be different ways of expressing their knowledge, showing what they know. Um, assessing students to determine their readiness level. We will also talk about this a little bit more later of how teachers pre-assess, um, assess students during assignments and after. Um, so the most important one I think would be to strive to make lessons engaging and meaningful because these students often um, don't learn well unless it's meaningful to them. So definitely working on making the lesson engaging is a good thing. So preparing students in classrooms. Um, one of the biggest ones would be the organization of the classroom. And this is where students can work quietly without distractions or um, there could be sections of the classroom where they can work in groups. Um, the classroom should offer materials for the students and a place of storage for their notebooks, um, pencils, backpacks, whatever that may be. And as you see in this picture down below, the classroom should provide space for classroom gatherings, whether that's for show and tell or story time or just meeting together as a class, that's definitely a good thing. And what I found interesting was that the teacher's desk should always be in the front of the classroom. And when I looked back at um, my classroom, my teacher's desk was not and still is not always in the front of the classroom. So I think that's definitely a very strong key in the classroom organization. Um, so also the teachers should explain expectations to students and parents. And they should explain that the students will be challenged. This is not um, a method of teaching to let students get by easily. This is a method where they will find what works best for them and they will still challenge them. Um, they m may all be working on different assignments. Like I said before, this is very important because some students might think that, like, why is, why is this kid working on something different than I am? Like, I want to work on that one. But um, the parents may have to explain to the students that the teachers do know what's best for them and that they're given that assignment because it fits the way that they need to learn, the way that um, they need to be teach. And the last one that I'm going to go over is assessments. And for me, this really stuck out, and I think that this is one of the important ones because 
Um, sometimes teachers don't really think about assessments and when they give them and how they give them. And so I think it's cool how for differentiated instruction, um, they sometimes give different assessments and just give them before, during, or after lessons. And if an, an assessment is given before a lesson, it's usually to see what the child knows. And during a lesson would be to figure out what they understand or what they need help, more help with. And I think this is very important because um, you don't often see assessments being given in the middle of a lesson, whether, unless it's like pop quizzes, and that's definitely not um, what this is meant to be. Um, and also, assessments giving after the lesson would just be what they have learned, and this is an important assessment because this is how teachers will assign gradings or grades to students. So differentiated instruction in the classroom um, tends to look different than an average classroom and teachers should know students in three different terms. That's terms of readiness, interest, and their learning profile. In terms of readiness, they should have knowledge over the content. In interest, they should know what the student is interested in, what topics, what hobbies, because um, teachers should just get to know their students. Um, and also the most important one for teachers, the learning profile is basically instructing the preferred method of learning for the students. Um, flexible groupings, now when it comes to this, teachers can assign groups, but it's very um, it's very helpful when there are different options whether students want to work alone, want to work together. Um, teachers can also group them in homo homogeneous groups, which would be the same needs, and heterogeneous groups, would, which would be different needs. Um, strategies in classrooms, a few of them would be to provide materials different presentation styles, um, extra help, and learning contracts, which would be agreements between students and teachers so that students understand the rules, understand how class is going to work, and um, so forth. Um, different styles of teaching is important because you, the teacher must teach the same concept, but um, in different ways to fit the child's needs. And this could be with learning centers, interactive journals, or even graphic organizers. The list goes on and on. Um, new things are being um, presented and come up with every, every year. Um, so these five examples are not examples of differentiated practices because, for one, this first one, delivers instruction primary, primarily by lecturing. Um, not everyone learns the same, so you can't just lecture when the students, not all students, just learn by that. Like, um, some need to be involved, some need visuals, um, so definitely that is not an example of differentiated practice. Um, the next one is, does not permit students to retake tests they have failed. Now, before going over this chapter, I would have not known that this is actually acceptable and okay to retake a test, but it makes sense to me now. Um, students do deserve a second chance to prove that they know the information um, in a different way or later on in the unit or the year. Um, giving bonus points for classroom participation is not okay. That's like giving bonus points for kids who bring in Kleenexes or dry erase markers. Um, I have never agreed with that and neither does differentiated um, instruction. 
But bonus points shouldn't be given out for unacademic things. So yes, they're in the classroom. That could be um, represented as academic, but it is not, it's not like they earned it. They should be going to class and participating. Um, in this last one, gives a test every Friday. Um, there shouldn't be a set date for tests. The teacher should just go along with how the students are doing, how they're, how they're learning, and if a test is set for a certain date and the teachers don't believe that um, the students are ready or that they've taught everything, they definitely need to move that test. They can't, they shouldn't just try to cram everything in there and just give the test when not everything has been gone over. The teachers definitely need to make sure that the students, for the most part, understand what is going to be on the test and what they have learned. So this is my presentation of differentiated instruction and I really enjoyed learning about this for several reasons. Um, I definitely wish that I could have been one of the students that were in a differentiated instruction environment, but yeah, I definitely like to see that this is a thing.